Even if you have a $3,000 PC, over time, if you do not do the things that I'm about to show you in this video every couple of months, your computer will just become very sluggish and slow down and programs will not continue working the way that you're expecting them to actually work. So I wanted to make a video quickly going over how you can clean up the junk files on your computer, update your BIOS, and all of that sort of stuff. But before we get any further into the video, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and leaving a like is always appreciated if you enjoy the video so the first thing that I want to show you guys how to do is probably the most important thing and the number one thing that you're gonna want to do after watching this video that being updating your BIOS now if you're not aware of what kind of motherboard you have or what BIOS version you have installed on your computer and what date it has been updated to there is a way to figure that out what you need to do is go down into the little search thing go MS info 32 and it will bring up this right here saying system information and then once you click that it's going to tell you system model this is what kind of motherboard you have for me it's a z390 aorus master and how you check what bios version you have is right here bios version slash date american megatrends inc and i installed and updated my bios on january 16th 2019 how you update your BIOS is very simple. Most motherboards will tell you and check if the BIOS file and the update for updating the BIOS will work with the motherboard. But you do need to make sure that the BIOS that you are downloading, if you do not have a motherboard that tells you this, is the correct BIOS because it will completely break your computer you will not be able to turn it on a lot of motherboards nowadays do have a reset feature that way if it doesn't have like an automatic info dialog that pops up and tells you that this is checking to see if this bios will work with your motherboard then you can just click the little button on your motherboard and it'll update you all you're going to need a usb drive just make sure that it doesn't have like any music files on it it doesn't have any videos saved on it and all that sort of stuff it needs to be blank and all that can be on it is the bios that you're going to be updating on your motherboard all you need to do is go over to the manufacturer's website if you have an msi motherboard go on over to msi and type in the specific motherboard that you have and it will bring up all of the bios drivers for that motherboard if you have a gigabyte motherboard the exact same thing go over to the gigabyte website search up aorus master it will bring you to the aorus master motherboard bios webpage, and you can just download that bios put it on the usb and the next time that you boot up your computer hit the delete key before it actually starts to enter the bios and it will automatically recognize the usb drive and it will check to see if that BIOS will work with your motherboard. That is probably the number one thing and probably the biggest thing that is going to make a difference with your computer. And it's something that I never see people talking about when they make videos like this on how to boost your PC performance. I am making this video because I noticed that my photo editing program has been slowing down. So I just wanted to let you guys know that's probably the biggest thing because it's going to update all the components with the motherboard, your CPU, your graphics card, your RAM, etc. So the next thing that you're going to want to do after you update your BIOS is go into your task manager. What you need to do when you're in your task manager is this is more for people that have had a computer for a very long time, which is what I would imagine most people watching this video are watching it for. So once you go to your task manager, all you need to do is right click your mouse, go to task manager and scroll over to the startup. When this, when you have a computer for a really long time, you can just like randomly install programs that you're not aware of. Like when you're updating a driver for your mouse, as an example, you update your driver for your keyboard as an example, etc. origin access all of that sort of stuff when you install programs like that when you start your computer up it's also going to start all of those programs up so what you can do is go into your task manager go to the startup tab and disable everything that you do not want to be starting up 
origin access as an example you could go ahead and disable steam from starting up when you when you turn your computer on all that sort of stuff the important things do not disable obviously an example for me would be corsair link even though the startup impact is high that is my liquid cooler for my cpu and i have settings for that program to keep my cpu cooler while i'm editing and that sort of stuff so that's the second thing that i wanted to show you guys the third thing is you need to go to file explorer and we're going to do a disk cleanup right now what this will do I'm going to show you guys this. This right here is your disk cleanup. This is going to remove a bunch of junk files on your computer. This, do not click that. Ch clean up system files, never, ever, ever click that. It will screw your computer up, trust me. So what I'm going to do is just simply check all of these things right here. And every single thing here is able to be checked. You don't need to worry about, you know, whatever it messing up your computer or anything like that that's just something to clean up the files on your computer and what this will end up doing is me as an example here is gimp i use this program to edit my thumbnails on youtube i use that program to edit a bunch of photos and that sort of stuff my video editing program because I'm using my video editor all the time, it's going to save a bunch of temporary files. And that is why you need to do this every few months. Most of you are probably going to have a lot more junk on your computer than I just barely had because I've only had this computer for a few months now. So the next thing that we're gonna go and download is C Cleaner. I always call it CC Cleaner just because, I don't know, I just, I've always called it CC Cleaner very simple to install i have not installed it on this computer yet so what you need to do for this is the screen's probably going to go black for you guys at least that's how it works with elgato i don't know if obs is different okay yeah of course it did <laughs> all right so now i'm just going to go ahead and quickly install i probably should have read that in all honesty i'm actually going to redo that really quick and make sure i didn't just Okay. Yeah, I, you you really should, guys. You should always do that. Are you sure you want to quit? Yes. Okay. Um, when uh, anything, if you ever install anything on your computer, always read that. So this right here, um, I'm not going to run it right now because I have a bunch of stuff open. Um, but this is another program that's going to clean up like your discord files that you don't need your video editing program that you don't need all those files all of that sort of stuff and there are settings that you can go ahead and um there are things that you can whatever disable for like that stupid notification there is a way to disable that crap because it does get pretty annoying it's gonna pop up all the time um but i'm going to go ahead and pin this to my taskbar so that when i'm done with this video i can go ahead and run it i don't want the obs file to get corrupted or anything like that while i'm making this video so the next thing that we're going to do is there's two things that we're going to do here so most of you are probably well aware of this um windows 10 is stupid and annoying with this thing you when you go to your power settings in windows 10 you need to go over here it's actually too big for you guys to see hold up um you need to go to your additional power settings and then it'll bring up this page right here you can either reduce it and make everything the maximum performance or you can um so when when you're like when you customize it or anything like that th i'm not going to save anything here um this okay so it's change advanced power settings it's, it's going to bring up this right here and you can go ahead and like just like 
power it just has like a bunch of different options for reasons i don't need to explain i don't want to make this video 400 hours long um and then the other thing for power options just for the windows one make sure everything is at maximum if you have an nvidia gpu you can go ahead and do what i'm about to show you right now um what you need to do if you have an nvidia graphics card you need to right here well i'm glad that i did this i completely spaced this out I'm glad that I just barely checked that. Maybe that's why my friggin' photo editor has been slowing down. Would you please apply? The, if you ever install an NVIDIA driver and you perform a clean installation, it will reset stuff like this. And I totally spaced out to um, re-update that. So, well, that's probably my issue right there. Okay, so the last thing that we're going to go over is the other tab that I had opened here, Avast. This antivirus program is free. It is 100% free. And let me quickly explain to you why people do not like programs like McAfee. McAfee is a great antivirus program. It will definitely keep your computer safe, but the reason a lot of content creators and PC gamers do not like that program is because it is consistently randomly scanning files on your computer all of the time. One, that's a total memory hog for the antivirus to always be scanning stuff and you have no idea what it's going to be scanning. So if you are editing a video as an example, McAfee may choose to randomly scan your video editor and you had no idea that it was going to do that. You never selected that. If you're playing a PC game, I'm just gonna throw Fortnite out there because I know everybody knows what that game is. If you're playing Fortnite Battle Royale, McAfee will choose to randomly scan Fortnite and that is why people don't like McAfee that are content creators or playing PC games because you can be using something and McAfee will randomly scan that program. The way Avast works is one you can disable the program if you are playing a video game. It I don't remember what it's called but um when you're playing a video game, you can just like do not disturb is what it's called. And then you'll like it will not start running anything on your computer while you're playing that game. And that is why people use Avast. Um, it's free. They do have a paid version. And no, this video is not sponsored. It's just something that I've been using for a really long time. But yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video, guys. Just a very, sh I'm, I tried to keep this as short as I possibly could. You just, that is the biggest thing, guys, is updating your bios. A t I guarantee you 90% of the people that are watching this video, after you go to that MS info, 32 i guarantee you people will have a bios that's like two three years old and that's probably the number one thing that's slowing your computer down that and the task manager start up this is the second most important thing after the bios but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video remember to support it with a like if you did subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace